She battled COVID, went to the hospital, and God won. That's today's show today. Yep, we're going to tell you all about it. But first, it's TikTok Tuesday. So we go through TikTok, find the trending ones, we filter them out for you, and here we go. We're so excited about yeah, today. We really are. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. But we'd like to read uh, your your name and your where you're from on, on Wednesdays. And your address and social security number. If you, yeah, if you pro provide those, we would read those out loud also. <laughs> and blood type as well. <laughs> uh, but we're going to do a scripture. We're going to pray every day, but we also have a special guest with us. Penny we're Conway. so excited. Thanks uh, what I mean, it's cool to have a miracle. Right? Right. There Somebody who's walked through a miracle be able to uh, talk to people because there is a lot of fear out there. I mean, I had COVID last week. Uh, right? And yeah. in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, like, you know. Uh, and so it's and we know that we know that not everybody has a great outcome with COVID. Right. But it doesn't mean that we shouldn't stop and talk about the victories. And we've got a victory yes. right here with us. Yes. And so, uh, Penny, tell, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, though, first. Well, I live up north. Uh, I live on a ranch about a little over two hours from here. Yeah. Uh, Which is amazing because you, you come to church. Right. Oh, yes. We've been. Church Alive is worth, that's a long drive. Right. And I tell everybody. 11 years. I, yeah, 11 years, and I've never driven down there that I wasn't blessed. Oh, my gosh. And that is true. Now, it's a you testimony, too, the, the, the idea that if you find a good church, even if it's two hours away, you it's go to worth church. it. Oh, yeah. That's what we did growing up. I mean, we had an hour, but we dad drove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where we drove. Okay, so Now, wait, there's a dirt okay. road to get your house. Is it, It's yes. like 16 miles. Yeah, 14 miles. The first oh, seven so 16 is, is too long. really easy. The last seven is not quite so easy. And I've been out there turkey hunting with your son once. Right. Wow. And what was funny is there was a whole, are they gaggles or giggles? I don't know what they are. Yeah, gaggles. A gaggle of turkeys. I have no idea what you're talking about. I Should thought they were a flock. Yeah. They're, no, they're, I don't they're, know. They're a just bunch. turkeys. A bunch. <laughs> so I have, I have my bow out. Been practicing yeah. good. Boop. Yeah. No. And boop. No. Right. And I went through all my arrows. Hit none. And they didn't move. They just sat there. Like, they were just like, what's like, like, why, why they'd look over at me and they're like, what are you doing? You're going to have to come back. So I got all my arrows and they moved and I did it again. And never I got a turkey. And then later, because Kyle wasn't with us at the time, Kyle goes, those are my neighbor's turkeys. They're pet turkeys. <laughs> Good thing you didn't hit them. <laughs> well, thank the Lord, I'm a horrible shot. <laughs> never got a turkey. Anyway. So, so uh, it was early December. Um, I got a text from you. Yes. Yeah, I think it was. Tuesday, December 7th, or yes. something like this. Yes. But tell us everyone. You know, that day, you were, to start off with, you were such a blessing to call me. You oh, know, yeah. I I had texted a few people, and I just texted people of faith that I knew believed. Yeah. You know, I don't, you know, everybody does their thing. They can put it on Facebook and get all this prayer group, but I just knew I needed a few, two or more gathered. Right. And so wow, I was just, wisdom. but I knew when I texted you guys, you know, I, I knew you guys would pray, but I was so thankful you called me mm -hmm. and you prayed with me because yeah. what you said that day, I was really, really sick. And the I had kind of the perfect storm in my body, I said. I had had surgery a few days before, just an outpatient surgery, and I ended up with an infection in my body that was resistant to oh, antibiotics wow. okay and I had been tired I had been to a convention and I was really tired and so I had these things going on that I think you know made the storm going on and then I had the you know the bad kind of uh, like there's not a good COVID but the one that <laughs> the real mean one the mean the one, mean one. Yeah. Well, yeah, different that, variants. yeah that went into my chest and went into my lungs and I had pneumonia and and it was, you know, not good. And that, when I had texted you, the doctor had been in, and I hadn't had a lot of fear, you know, but when he said to me, he said, did you sign on the, to be resuscitated? 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's not the best uh, doctor bedside table <laughs> right. manner but he there. To make sure I had signed off on the ventilator, and then he said we wow. might want to use a um, a uh, experimental drug on you too. Interesting. I'm like, really? You know, I thought I was not doing. I mean, I was sick, but I didn't think. You now know. everybody's wondering too. Did you get an experimental drug? I did, but I found out later the experimental drug is experimental to COVID, not experimental. Right. It's for uh, what was it for? I can't remember the disease, but it'd been around. Taking quite a paint while. off a car. Yeah, yeah. And so, but it, it gets rid of the inflammation in your lungs. Oh, nice. Okay. And that was what they and you know it was Mayo Hospital that I was in. Yeah. Okay. Which I was very thankful because yeah. they're very good and they had told me they had been dealing with COVID two years. They opened a ward before any other ho hospital did. Wow. So I was very confident in wow. their procedures and what right. they were going to do. But then when he said that to me, and he did say just a reference a few days later when God turned everything around, he said, I was really worried about you that day. Oh, wow. And so he, there was something in me too. And yeah. so when you called and then when you said to me, you know, hey, Penny, and I, we talked about the word and worshiping of the word, and I knew the word was what yeah. the word said. But you said to me, Penny, remember on my, our website, there's a app that, taught, that has healing scriptures to music. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you even remember saying oh, that I do. to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when you said that to me, that was life-changing for me wow. because I would forgot about that. Didn't even know it was there, to be honest. And so when I got off that, got off the phone to you, I laid that. It's going to be hard for me to talk about some of this. I don't want to cry. Yeah. But I laid that phone on my chest, and wow. all day long I listened to those scriptures. Wow! Yeah. And because me cry. because it was there had fear had entered in, and I always said I wasn't scared to die. I know where I'm going, mm. but I didn't feel like it was really my time, mm, right. and I didn't want the enemy taking me out because I feel like it's an enemy yeah. <laughs> you know, deal. And I thought, no, this is not the way it's supposed to be. Wow! And so, but that just was so helpful to me to be able to lay that there and every, you know, I'd listen to it over and over oh, wow. and over again. That word is just working. The word was working. <clears throat> and and all of a sudden, uh, Psalms 91. That's our scripture today. Yes, and it was very powerful because I don't know how many of y'all are out there in this world watching mm. and have prayed Psalms 91 over ourselves because of COVID. Right, you know? that's true. And I said, and I had done it countless of times, but God had really, and I didn't really know, knew this when it first was going through it, but now I know it, is in this day, because it was in that Tuesday, I, at one point I saw this black come from the top of my head all the way down my body. I'm like, wow, what is that? Mm. And at first I thought it was the enemy because it was dark. Too sure. right. And you know, I binded it and threw it off, all that, but it kind of stayed. And now I knew it was the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, oh wow. And that's what he was showing me. And he was shadow because part of that, most wow. of the day, I could see this. It was no face. I couldn't see it, but I could see it in the spirit, this guard over me. Mm. And it was like, what is that? Yeah. And I knew it was the angel It said in Psalms that he will put guard over his Word, you know, it says it there in Psalms 91. Right. He was guarding me, guarding what was going to take place, guarding what was going to go on. And and so I knew that this Psalms 91, mm. even though, and I think it was you, Pastor Scott, one time mentioned, even though things will happen, he will still, you know, we're going to tread upon those lions. We're going to tread upon that cobra. Yeah, it tried mm -hmm. to come in. It tried to take me out, mm -hmm. but it couldn't. But God was victorious. He was victorious. And then the second part of my story, which is kind of funny part of it, but the first part, I, it was probably mid-afternoon, later afternoon, and I just hear the Lord say to me, your faith has made you well. And at there that it is. point... It's still yes. Tuesday now. Yeah, I got hot. All this it's in still one Tuesday. day. This was all in one day. My top of my head all the way to the bottom of my feet got hot. Mm. And I knew... That, and he said, receive your miracle. And I, I received it. And I Done. like the fact that you, had to re you received it. That's right. It's in available. Fact, you said, I, got to, I received it. I know. And that, grab it. Something that you guys, you said something this weekend about. Mm -hmm. Got to grab it. You got to grab it. Grab when it. they spoke that word over you mm -hmm. for your birthday. Yeah. Right. I said, I, gra I grabbed that. <clears throat> I grabbed it. And yeah. I did too. I said, I received that. 
And then what was the funny part of this story, and this was probably an hour later, I don't know, I was, you know, I was still sick. It wasn't yeah. like it was an instant healing, but yeah, right. I knew I was healed. Yeah. And the two nurses come in, and the one nurse says, Penny, I'm leaving, this is your night shift lady, <laughs> and her name is Faith. Oh, I no. love faith. <laughs> and I went, yes. oh my God. And she, and I said, okay. And, and I, your oh, faith I, will make me whole. But yeah, that's what he said. Your faith will make me well. You're, oh, <laughs> you're right. You'll make me whole. Yeah. Right. And, but what was funny on the story, because yeah. I was just praising God, mm -hmm. thanking him for confirmation, because her name yeah. was faith. Mm -hmm. So she comes in about whatever later to take care of me, and she names her name, and it wasn't faith. <laughs> it wasn't taken. Well, what was it? Heard? I don't know. You heard it something. I did. I did. And that <laughs> was faith. just incredible to me. It was <laughs> her name wasn't Faith. And that but that's what I heard. Yeah. That's what I heard. I, I love God. it. You heard it. Yeah, I heard it. God just God, did you keep calling her Faith? No, I didn't. <laughs> Shut up. And I went, what? your name's not Faith. She said, no, my name is Hickness. Yeah. Hickness. Yeah, Hickness. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, it was. It, and, okay, you know, so go, keep walking us through now. We're, what well, day did you really start? Do we want to read a little bit of the scripture, though? Well, yeah, she brought up that he will, he will set his guard on our, on our word, that, that on his word. that. But you also brought up that, the, that he that... Let's read the first one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I love the idea that you were you recognize that, yeah, there was fear. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right? When I That's would, good. You can't pretend. Right. right. But as long as you, uh, not only, you, you might have that fear there, but as long as you stay in the Word right. and let that work right. on you, you were standing even though there was fear. Well, and I had had went to an Andrew Womack conference the uh, week just this week. Yeah. Oh, okay. This yeah. Week. But yeah. he said something about our emotions that really is set with me. I never thought about it. He said we're not to be controlled by our emotions, but that emotions are a uh, trigger that we need to get into the Word of God. That's so true. And wow. so when that when that fear started entering into me, was I scared to die? I, I had thought at one time, no, I'm not scared to die. But at that point, I was scared of death. Yeah. Yeah. In that fear, but I knew the word, and I knew what the word said, yeah. and I knew I had to get the word. So you put on the armor. I did. And right. I you responded started. properly to the fear. It right. triggered the right response. The, Thank the you. emotion triggered. No, what I love I that you put to. the phone right there. Yeah. Oh, I put right it right by the problem. Right by the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah. 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 I did. And so you were abiding. That word "abide" is to dwell, but also that that life comes from this place. Mm -hmm. That we're dwelling in the secret place of God. It's a secret place because not a lot of people go there. Right. Right, mm -hmm. the secret place is like, and when I'm facing fear, I turn to God. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the idea that I'm worshiping God, I'm praising God, I'm turning to God for my as my salvation. Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And then, and that you were abided under the shadow of Almighty. So, you, when did you start seeing a change or a turnaround in your breathing uh, and your symptoms? It was about two days, and I think what that doctor was seeing was my. I was going up, you have, you know, they have to keep your oxygen above 90. Mm -hmm. Right. Because when it falls below 90, there's all sorts of things. So they're just like, they're on it. That. they are on it. And I was in bed rest. I couldn't even get out of bed because if I got up out of bed, I was coughing so hard. And, Were you? Yeah. And, but you know, not as bad as I felt like some people <laughs> talked about, but right. you know, and the doctor did come in the next morning. He says, well, your face is so bright. And I've mm, been praying. So <laughs> I've been Spirit. praying and praying and praying. Yeah, praying. Yeah. You, were like, you were like Moses. You were glowing. That's right. I was glowing. God's presence. <laughs> yeah, because yes. he made glory. that comment. But it was a few days. And I mean, I was in there nine days. Nine days. And But I knew that, you know, God had turned it around. And I started claiming, you know, there's not going to be any side effects. And no. there wasn't. You sound was great. Up. Yeah, I was good. Yeah. I was good. Wow. So, but, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, he confirmed the other thing that I, I wanted to share is, uh, excuse me, your faith has made you well. And I went back and looked at those scriptures, and three times Jesus had said, it was in the story of the leopards, mm -hmm. it was the story of the woman that had the blood issue, That's and right. it was a, uh, the man that was blind. Mm -hmm. Those are the three times I found that he said, your faith has made you well. And I thought, what was in common with that was Psalms 91 and I think what just stuck in my mind 
is Jesus used the same words 2,000 years ago mm. in me. Wow. You know, that's what he told me. Your faith has made you well. He used those same words. words. So the word, you know, just came more alive in that, that it was... It's you the know, same it's, yesterday as it is today. That's what I said. Yesterday. Well, we're 2,000 day. years ago. It doesn't today. matter. It's alive. It's, it's the same word. Yeah. The science that they used 2,000 years ago has been dead for about 1,990 years. <laughs> right. That, it, it's true, though. Science keeps changing, and the, and the smartest people in the world come up with, with things that are proven to be wrong right. every, yeah. every this decade. Confounds. Every decade. This confounds. That's that the right. word of God Otherwise. is forever. When God said, let there be light, how many know it? There's still light. Like, right. just because he's not saying it doesn't mean it's not still echoing in eternity it's and just, when jesus spoke the words your faith has made you well those that word is still resonating for yes. us to come into agreement with in our today that's still right. working just god's right. word still works and so for you all, all out there wherever you're going through the mm -hmm. power of god's word yes and we've seen this for um a number of people mm -hmm. um they got on the nettles Mm -hmm. Right, got on, on, on the word. We're going to bring uh, Chris, John Nettles out here. Christy, he, he had a big battle. Christy uh, uh, Earl, Earl. Mm -hmm. and there's a common that right away those around him and, and them they they got the word. They yeah. got into the, the word. The word makes a difference. And I, I also see that you know <clears throat> there's there can be ad, adversity between uh, or or division between us and doctors and nurses. I've right. seen that where oh, people yeah. are. People are, are thinking the doctors and nurses are the enemies, but they're not. Yeah. No. So these are people who are dedicated and called uh, into healing and, right. and health. And so we want to be in agreement, uh, not with the negative words that right. they might speak, right. but to recognize that God can use people. He always uses people. Mm -hmm. right. And these people were your allies. Oh, yes. they were. I was so thankful to get into Mayo Clinic and, you know, they, um, that doctor that came in, he was... He said they had done lots of studies. I asked every doctor, every nurse, mm -hmm. okay, tell me about what you're finding out about COVID. Yeah. Tell me what yeah. you're finding out about the vaccine. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. mean, I wanted their yeah. professional opinion. And they told me that, he said, to be honest, two years we've been studying this and there's no protocol for what's going on in COVID. Like wow. there's nothing that we Still. can pinpoint that so says everybody goes, this, this works every time. This works. This take, is it. Yeah, yeah. take two yeah. Tylenol and mix it with some excedrin. Right. Sweet kind of clockwise three yeah. times. Right. But all we oil. can do is, and I pray this all the time, is Father lead. Yes. Lead the doctors and nurses. Mm -hmm. Give them wisdom, Father. Yes. There'd right. be no confusion in this hospital room. And right. and and, and uh, so working with them and not against them. I think that's. Uh, I think that's powerful. And Proverbs my, my, talks about that. It talks about the fact that use use the medical stuff that oh, is yeah. out there for sure. Do all you know to do, and then God does the rest. You yep. know, uh, my wife was right. was down praying with a woman that was in the hospital with COVID, and and. Uh, and she, one of the nurses just stopped my wife and said, oh, what, what, what were we looking for? And she, she, so my wife just goes, how are you doing? And the girl just started to cry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. she was, it was the ICU floor, and she had just seen so much death, and it's it was so much, much pressure. And she said, we're so understaffed. And, right. And uh, my wife you know, took the time to pray with her. Wow. Can I pray with you? And it just reminded me, so lately I've been praying. When I pray for people that are in the hospital. You pray for the staff? I take a moment to pray. we got to pray for our nurses we and our do. doctors. Oh, man. They're frontliners. They and, are And they're under a lot of Honor criticisms them. and things. And, and Honor them. Just pray that God give them wisdom and that God's going to lead mm -hmm. them. And, and right. So What they gave me besides, you know, what God did, I mean, it was three different medications that yeah. were going into my uh, lungs. Wow. And it was getting rid of the inflammation. That's yeah. basically. In fact, one of the That's drugs. That's the goal was the one I give my horse. I'm like, oh, well, oh I got the horse one. The yeah. ivermectin. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you got? No, ivermectin. not the ivermectin. No, not that one. No. A different horse drug. Wow. Yeah, it is, um, oh, what, what was the name of that? Not DMSO, it was the other one that, um, I can't think of it right now. It's okay. Yeah, but anyway, it's the same drug we give our horses, Dex. Mm. It's called Dex. Dex. And Dex. Me. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that do that? I, had, I got some of that too, my fault. But, it just once in a while. Don't laugh at him. He's once not in a while, funny. It just comes it's not out. funny. <laughs> no, it's just weird. Ever since I took it. this. And sometimes I'll just be walking all the time. I'll just gallop. I was like, what is he doing? He's going to come back and try yeah, to kill him. Yeah, the Dex gets up. 
<laughs> anyway, we got to pray over your day. Yes, Pastor Scott, will you pray for them? Dear Father, Lord, we thank you and praise you, Lord, for wisdom and guidance. We do pray, Lord, for yes. all of our, our doctors and nurses and our mm, frontliners yes, right now, Lord, yes, that you continue to give them wisdom. And for the scientists and all of them, Lord, that you, yes. you brighten up a bright light, Lord, that, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that, that you bring a solution, yes, Lord. Father. You bring a solution, Lord. Yes. We are a nation under God. And so That's we're right. asking right now, Lord, for mm -hmm. that solution to come, Lord. Doctors, nurses are energized, Lord, that you mm -hmm. build them up. You give them peace, Lord. They yes. know what to do, how to do it, Lord. Yes. And we pray for everybody watching, Lord. Your hand be upon them, Lord. Yes. The shadow of the Almighty, Lord. That's where yes. we rest, Lord. Yes. And we thank you and praise you for your protection over us your guidance and direction in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, let's not do a clip today, but I did wanna say if these tools, if you know somebody who's not feeling well, uh, you can go to livingwordonline.com and click, there's a big banner that says healing toolkit, click that. You can find access to the, the, the music she was talking about that will play the scriptures. You can find scriptures that you can quote. You can find a lot of interesting and helpful tools on mm -hmm. that healing toolkit. So I just encourage you, check that out. You can also download the Living Word app and find the music there too. <laughs> Almost oh, my God! Yeah, in order I don't know that. why it keeps doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys.